Okay, this looks really fucking cool in the video, and I really wanted to buy it, but in person, this thing looks like shit. The paint is fucking awful, and like, it has horrible welding. Like, why would you give this thing to W.O.? One of the worst fucking companies that works with a spirit. Everything from them fucking destroys itself. Like, I don't have a single Wo U prop that hasn't just, like, fucking, like, killed itself in some way. And that's why I don't buy anything from them anymore. But, like, th this could have been so good if it was by, like, somebody else. Like, even CCL would have been a better choice. And they would have made it have, like, a hundred fucking zip ties and shit. This thing looked absolutely horrible in the videos and had like the worst audio ever of any of those of any zombie, but in person, like of people and with people having this thing, it actually looks a lot better. Like the paint job is a lot better better surprisingly. And like there's actually a second phrase, which is actually really good. And like but this thing is also five feet, which is stupid as fuck. Like who's gonna get scared by a five foot zombie? And also, this thing has no blood. It's supposed to be, like, a zombie with, like, an axe, like, like inside of its fucking shoulder and shit. Or, like, stabbed into it. But, like, it has no blood. Like, what the fuck is that shit? That's stupid. Like, put more blood on it. It's a zombie that's, like, supposed to be, like, gory. Like, why would you put, like, zero blood on it? That's just stupid. You little monsters have been carving up my friends for years! Now it's my turn to make a jack-o'-lantern from your head! <laughs> okay, I do like the sculpt, and I do like the phrases. But this thing looks awful in person. Like, every single one I've seen has, like, it looks like 2010 Uncle Charlie, where, like, the hip ring in, like, the middle of his torso is always, like, just protruding and shit, and it, like looks really bad and like also this thing is just bad quality like i've seen so many that are just like broken like out of like the factory and shit and like also like this th like the piece for this thing's eyes are just so fragile like you push it in like a little bit and it cracks like this this is fucking awful quality I, like i don't know why party time is making so many props they're not good quality at all like ever and why is this thing $330? I knew you would be here soon. You could say I have eyes all over. <laughs> Remember, wherever you run, my crows and I will find you. This would be one of the better props this year. If not for the fact that it's always creaking like hell in the stores. Like, the scissor mechanism for his head movement, it's always just fucking creaking. Like, oh my, it sounds like it's like a fucking, like, year-old reanimated corpse from 2016. But no, this is brand new. But, like, and also his audio is so compressed, like, you can never hear what he's saying at all. And, like, his clothing also looks cheap as hell. But, like, other than that... Honestly, this wasn't not that actually that bad. Um, it would have been actually pretty good if not for those like actually really really glaring issues. This thing is a rancid piece of fucking garbage. I don't know why I ever fucking liked it. This looks like a fucking Big Lots prop. And in person, every piece of this prop has some fucking shitty ass yellow paint on it. It looks fucking awful. Why is this a spirit prop that's in a display? 
This, if this was even Ed Spirit, it would have been, like, a fucking, like, box-only, like, tabletop thing. But, like, why is this on the displays next to, like, life-size animatronics that are, like, actually, like, decent-looking? This, why? Why the fuck was this a needed item? <laughs> Speaking of things that were not needed whatsoever, we have young Crouchy. <laughs> Why? Why? Why do we need a young Crouchy? Like, okay, Crouchy's popular, but so, like, bring back big Crouchy. Bring back cool Crouchy. Bring back the good one. Like, <laughs> he's more expensive. You would have gotten more money. Why would you make this tiny ass fucking stupid looking version that has light up eyes and looks like always bad because the hair is made horribly? Like, I don't, I don't know what the point was. Like, why? Why, why was this, like, an item that was made? It's so stupid. Okay, this actually isn't bad. It's a zombie prop that's actually a good zombie prop. It sounds like a zombie. It looks... It's not a gory zombie, but it's not really needed because it's, like, more of, like, a compost zombie, like Compost Corpse was. And that's good because, like, it's another unique zombie. And if this prop... Like, if the arms actually worked better, like, actually swung like they were supposed to all the time and didn't get, like, stuck, and if it was, like, less expensive, I probably would have gotten it, actually. It, it's like, it's, it's like something I would have gotten if it actually, like, worked properly, but, like, yeah, this is actually a pretty good prop for this, for this past year. I have a secret. <laughs> Come closer and I'll tell you. <laughs> closer. Closer. Ah! I fucking despise this thing. This thing is fucking garbage. It's another, like, a lot of the props from this year, it's either an unfinished concept or a prop that's just, like, old and was, like, unreleased. This is an unfinished concept, and that's clear. This would have been so fucking good if it wasn't delayed, or, like, not delayed, or just brushed out. This thing is another fucking awful party time prop where it never fucking works it always gets stuck and it just looks horrible it has these fucking awful looking fucking like string light up eyes and it's like it's a shitty like plastic half head like wh what the fuck is this the and it's just fucking an ugly piece of fucking garbage it's like why this this is fucking awful and the animation is like it doesn't even look like it's like a, supposed to be like a ball rolling it's awful looking I fucking hate this thing so much. It's, and it's almost $300 for, like, an inflatable that moves. I could go get a moving inflatable at Lowe's for, like, $80. And it's probably bigger. This thing is fucking ass, and I hate it so much. <laughs> Honestly, this one's just okay. It looks too much like it's plastic in person, and although it is massive, it it doesn't need to be on. It doesn't need to be three hundred dollars, and the box was honestly just an excuse to make it taller. Probably, I would have liked it more if it was just like standing on someone like four, with like being like four feet. That would have been honestly better. But yeah, this one's just okay. 
I don't like how the symbols always came like deformed because they were made of like cheap plastic, but like this one's just oh, honestly it's just okay. It's solid, but it's like it's just like whatever. Careful where you're going. I'm trying to sanitize this place first. When I'm done, <laughs> nothing's gonna be left living. <laughs> oh, who makes your eyes water, don't it? Honestly, this is honestly one that's not that bad if you have it like posed and like styled correctly, like Glenn's or Sardonyx's is, is. Um. But in stores, this does not look that good. The hair is always messed up, and, like, the face just looks bad. But, like, this is another one that doesn't need to be as expensive as it is. It's $350 for two animations and light-up eyes. Even though it's a fog-compatible animatronic, it should not be $350. It should be, at most, 230 Like, that's way too expensive for this. Like... And also, like, it doesn't even include the fog machine. So, like, yeah, at least include the fog machine if it's going to be that expensive. But, like, overall, it's, this one's just okay. I don't get why the head is latex, because it's going to get, like, there's, it's going to be exposed to moisture. It's going to dry rot. But, like, this one's, honestly, it's just okay. It's not bad. It's not, like, really that good. But it's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> this one kind of looks like shit in person, especially if it's not posed correctly. But honestly, it's just okay. It's way too expensive, though. It's the same price as Miserable Marie from 2020. And this prop is half the size of that, but... Overall, this one's honestly just okay. I don't really have much to say about it. I wish it did actually convulse, like, the code name of it said it would, but it really doesn't, which is unfortunate. And I wish it was techie, like we all thought it was going to be, but it's not, but whatever. This is literally just the Home Depot Goblin, but without the Goblin, and with a worse looking skeleton, but with a slightly better looking bag, but like, you can't use it in a haunt because it has spirit branding on it, like, and this just has a bunch of random prop audios, and like, what, what the fuck is this? This is, like, this is just the most okay prop ever made, like. It's like, it's just something like someone's gonna just walk past, like, okay. It doesn't even jump up that fast. It's like, it's just like, kind of like floats up. Through the dark woods and into the night. Ha! <laughs> I'm coming for you to give you a fright. Da 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 da. I genuinely used to think that this was the worst prop sold by any retailer, but it's not that bad, but it's still fucking stupid and I hate it. It's just a bastardized version of a really good fucking skeleton prop, and, like, it, they give it the fucking CCL, and it, like, it, it looks so, the face looks like shit in person, and, like, it, like... It's like the legs and feet always like just like never stay and like still they always like move around like so even if you like position them they're gonna like get moved around and like look like shit within like 10 minutes like this is like they should have just brought back the original version like they brought back little master they can do swing props like that again like i don't know i don't know like why they want to reimagine all these props like that's just a fucking stupid thing like just bring back the original prop. I don't know, like, that one always sold well. This thing, you like, it's gonna sell well still, even if you bring it back and don't modernize it. Like, yeah, like, just do that instead. I like collecting things. 
Can I show you my collection? <laughs> I love cooking. Mommy lets me do all the chopping. My sister used to be Mommy's favorite, but I took care of that. <laughs> okay. Why would you give a possessed girl prop to party time? Like, you have Techie, who has done so many great, like, creepy girl props. Like, you have Broken Spine Girl, Peekaboo Penny. Like, even though I don't really like them that much, like Lunging Lily, l like Lunging Pumpkin Carver, you have all of these. Why would you give it the fucking party time? Why would you let them make it, like, look that bad and give it one animation? And have it be the bag moving. Like, what the fuck is... And like, why is this $180? Like, it's just... It's fucking awful. Like, what is this? Like, it could have been so good. Like, a lot of the other props this year, it could have been so good. But it's fucking... It sucks ass. What an excellent day for an exorcism. It would bring us together. You and us. Okay, this one is honestly just really underwhelming because it's just another Reagan prop that spins its head. And like, the original one did that one so did that like concept so much better. Like, even though it doesn't look as accurate to the movie in terms of like the head sculpt, it still did like everything else better and even looked better. Even looked like more detail and shit and looked like more like an actual possessed person. But, like, like we could have gotten so much more out of a Reagan prop that instead of just another head spinning one. Like, we could have gotten, like, a project... Like, we got could have gotten one with, like, a misting feature with, like, projectile... That, like, projectile vomits and shit. That would have that been so fucking cool. But, like, no, it's just got to be another head spinning one. Like, every other fucking Reagan prop on Earth is... And also, this shit's almost $300. Like, what the fuck? This thing has one animation and a light feature. Like, I'm not fucking spending almost $300 on that. Fuck no. Okay. The fact that this is really fucking huge and is actually built fairly well... It's really the only good thing about this prop. Like, I guess that's why it's $200, because it is actually, like, pretty fucking big. But, like, other than that, it's just, like, it's just another spider prop. Like, okay, it moves a tiny bit and makes spider noises. Cool. Like, whatever. Did you know that this land is cursed? The original farmer buried his victims in this very field. They say it helped to keep his soil nice and fertilized. Would you care to see where the remains lie? <laughs> okay, this one is actually really fucking good. This is by far the best in-store prop we have this year because everything else besides, like, I guess, Bog Zombie, who's pretty good, is either just okay or it's complete shit. Like, a lot of things this year because a lot of shit this year is fucking horrible. But... This is really fucking good. This is by far one of the best Scarecrow props we've had in years, if not ever. Because, like, it's got everything you want from a good Scarecrow prop. It's got bussin' animation, bussin' cosmetics, and bussin' audio. Like, this is fucking, like, amazing. Like, only thing better than it, and the only reason why I didn't really, why I didn't get it this year is because Toothy exists. And that is a better prop, even though this one is really fucking good, too. But, yeah, this is a really good fucking prop, and the fact that it has servos for its, like, head movement is even better, and, like, yeah, this thing is just really fucking good, and it is by far one of the best props of the year. <laughs> okay. I get why this thing is popular, and I'm glad it was, and I'm glad that it sold really well, because it shows spirit that we actually do want goy props, instead of this just, this, like, fucking, like, shit that just has no blood in it, even though it needs blood half the time, but anyways, like, it, it's, it's fine, it's a decent prop, and 
it achieved what it was gonna do, what it was trying to do well, but it, okay, it's just like okay, like whatever, like half the time, but half the time in person, this thing looks like ass because of the way it's made, with like this fucking awful like foam. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it just doesn't look good in person half the time, unless you adjust it a lot. But like, it's it's fine. That's all I have to say. But it's just fine. <laughs> Okay, in this video, this thing looks like complete shit because of the fact that it has this weird, like, complete color tone shift than how it actually looks in person. But, like, in person, it does not look as bad, honestly, because it has, like, it, it's like Jerry, where it looks, like, super light and shitty in the video, but, like, in person, or in videos of people having, it looks actually better. It, like, it, it's still fine, it, like, it still needs more blood, and the audio's still kind of ass, but... It's it's an okay zombie prop. It, it could have been done a lot better, but like it's 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 fine. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. See how they run. Not fast enough for me. <laughs> Why? Why the fuck does this thing exist? Who who the fuck would fucking why was this fucking produced who approved this why this thing is a fucking piece of shit and i fucking remember remember when i said that little skelly mo's was the worst fucking thing anybody had ever sold no this thing is this thing is fucking disgraceful it's it, fucking sunstar has made better fucking props than this and in their fucking sunstar they make fucking spirit knockoffs and they fucking profit from them and they get mad when people yell at them about it. This thing is fucking horrible. Fucking, like, the fact that CCL did not make it better because they're going to build it like shit because they're CCL. Like, th this thing is so fucking ugly. The fucking concept is stupid. And the fucking audio is fucking ass. And it barely fucking swings. And the animation is fucking horrible. Like, this this thing is fucking awful. Like, wh why would you fucking make this? Who would buy this? Like, why? This is fucking ass. It is a fucking disgrace to fucking every swing prop on fucking Earth, including fucking Ghost Wing, who was not even that good in the fucking first place. Like, why? Why do we fucking need this? You can run, but there is no hiding from me. Go ahead, try. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> okay, the original prop roaming antique doll from 2014 is fine it did what it was trying to achieve even though roaming rosie was better from 2015 but why out of all the things you were going to bring back would you bring back the 2014 roaming doll like okay it's f like why no one even remembers this thing if they don't unless they have it and, like, very few people have it. More people have the 2015 one. But, like, it, it's just a strange thing to bring back. Why would you bring back the... Like, there's so many other props that you could bring back. Like, like you could have brought back, like... Even if it's a random SVI prop, you could have brought back, like, Sickening Reaper. Which I would really fucking love because he's my favorite Reaper of all time. You could have brought back, I don't know, Lurching Zombie, Undead Granny, anything. But, like why would and especially if you're gonna put it online only like it's not gonna sell online only if you can't even see it in stores roaming around and like it's also like it's old technology like yeah everybody makes roaming props now it's it's nothing special like i don't know what the point of this one was it's just a wasted spot in the lineup and you could have brought back something much better and made more money like if you brought back just barnyard butchery just put them online or pumpkin nester you would have made a lot more money because people would have been happy and they would have bought it. And, like, two people bought this thing. And you made, like, no money from it. There's a lot you can do with a clown. You can rent me out for birthday parties. I'll always bring a smile when you're sad. I'll even cry at your funeral. Ha! No, I won't! Okay. This thing... This singular prop made the entire fucking miserable year of 2022 spirit waiting through. 
And when I say miserable, I mean it was fucking miserable. It was the fucking Dark Ages. But this shit is fucking bussin', bro. I am so glad it's not just an old prototype from 2019. And they actually got released and shit, which was fucking great. Like, this shit is straight up my fifth favorite prop of all time. Like, holy fuck. It's it's not as good as Pumpkin Nester. I'd say Pumpkin Nester is, like, two spaces above him on my favorite props of all time list. But, like, this thing is still really fucking good. And, like, God, it's, it, especially for a modern spirit prop, it's really fucking good. And, like, the only thing I can genuinely say I do not like about the, this prop is that the, is that it's, it is, a, it is a tad ex- bit, bit expensive. It should have been, like, 220 or at least, or at most 230, but it's 250 for some reason. I don't know why. But, and then it's also kind of built strangely. Like, if you have this prop, the setup is a, and if you have also Pumpkin Nester, um, the setup is very, it is very strange, honestly, compared to Pumpkin Nester. It's a lot more overcomplicated, just so that it, could, it has a smaller box. But it was, it's still worth it. It's still a it, this prop is still very good. The sculpt is fucking amazing. The color scheme is great, and like as someone who knew about Toothy from about like June or July because of his catalog listing list and had like seeing and like being on like the front of the hype train and hype train and shit and seeing all, like, the prototype pictures and shit, and all, like, the rumors and shit, and then, then just, like, having it appear one day, after, like, months of waiting, it was well worth it, this thing is, was well worth the absolute fucking miserable year that was 2022 Spirit, and it's a shame that it was not in stores, because I, because this thing did sell well, and I think it would have sold a lot more if it, if not for it being online only, because this shit is really fucking good, and, yeah, it is, it's the, it is definitely the best prop of the year, by far. Okay, I don't know why in my original opinion video from back in, like, summer or some shit, I don't fucking remember when I made it, but I, I said these were the best modern spirit themes, or post-2015 modern spirit themes. They are not. After seeing these themes in person, I, it is a complete shift in tone about these themes i think these themes are fucking dog shit they are like they're so bland it's like it's like looking at the color like gray like or yeah it's like it looks it's it's bland it looks like the color gray i don't know what else it's it's like okay cool like i don't care and like these just are not good themes at all they're like it's, they don't immerse me into the, in their life, they don't make me feel like I'm in a factory, or, uh, or, like, by a ship and shit, or in a cornfield with, like, farming equipment and shit, like, Spirit Acre Farms did, or SS Riptide did, or the factory did, even though the Spirit Acre Farms was a fairly dumbed-down theme from what it was originally supposed to be, but I don't want to get into that right now, but... Yeah, it's it's just not a good theme. It it's it just feels bl- it feels like a like it feels like a Halloween city theme. And it's not it, it or like a Halloween express display. It doesn't feel like actually like immersive. Or and like they they tried doing this weird like unbalanced mixture of a like a lab and a castle and at some points it's more lab and at some points it's more castle and it just does not mixed well and it looks horrible and like it it's just it's just a it, it, it uh, it's just bad it's like the only cool things about this theme i can say are like i like the bubble tube effects i liked the walkthrough part in the back in the uh, spirit testing lab um that was actually cool i like the fan effects even though i fucking hated how fucking they look on camera and it pissed me off every time because they were all like, they look like shit on the videos, which they didn't look like that in person. But and I like the floor effects with the shaking floor. That shit was busting as hell. But it, it's just, it's just a bland theme. It's a failure at a lab theme. They could have done so much better, and they did do better in two thousand eight, even though it was not as like detailed or like large. And they did do better in 2011 with the small room that Boris Karloff Frankenstein was in, even though it was a small room. They still made it, it still was more effective as a lab 
than the entirety of the 2022 themes. And I'm not going to talk about the Monty display, because that's just a tent thing that looks ugly with a big giant monkey inside. But these are just failures of themes. These are just, these are the worst themes that Spirit has ever had. And, like, we have had themes that were just, like, like, wooden boxes wooden caged crib things with zombie babies in them like the zombie baby nursery in 2009 was that was previously previously my least favorite theme because it's, it's just a crib and we've had the isle the 2020 island reaper's island village which was a severely dumbed down theme from what it was supposed to be and it, it looked horrible and i hated it so much and like this is somehow worse. This is this is just a bad year for spirit themes. And I really hope and I do think that this year will be a lot better in terms of like basically everything, including theme design. But yeah, this is just a failure on this is just a failure in terms of themes. And there's a reason why I did not buy a single fucking thing besides, like, the animatronic, uh, fucking autonomy posters or whatever the fuck they were for Nozzles, Miserable Marie, and Buzzsaw. Because, like, it, it just, it, it, none of it was good, and I was just gonna get mad every time I looked at it, because, like, everything from this year, besides, like, Toothy and Strawman, I just get mad every time I look at it, because I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that, that year fucking sucked, but, like, these are just bad, bad themes, and they're, like, they're a disgrace to what a lab theme could be. Okay, I'm not gonna fucking give some stupid-ass bullshit like I did in the original opinion video. Yeah, this is definitely Spirit's worst year. They're, the only th good things about it were Toothy and Straw Man, and yeah, everything else was either just okay or just flat-out bad. Um, I do think this year, 2023, will be a better year for Spirit, though. I think a lot of, like, most or all of that all the issues from this year will be improved um and yeah this is this is this is a long ass fucking video it's already like half an hour long and yeah it's also my first video in like six months because i haven't had anything to post um yeah i'm gonna try to post more because it's season now and there's gonna be shit releasing soon like lowe's is already putting shit out i'm gonna wait more because they haven't put everything out um Home Depot's gonna release shit soon. Spirit's gonna do shit soon. Uh, who the fuck? Oh yeah, Party City's gonna release shit soon. Um, yeah, I'm gonna all make. I'm gonna do better opinion videos this year because my old ones from last year were shit. I hated them. Um, and because they they were scripted and I had the most fucking short ass fucking script lines and I hate and I hated how I delivered them so much. I just I just like rushed through them and gave like the most bland readings of them but yeah um i'm gonna try to post better things too i'm not gonna try to like i'm not gonna film every time i go to a store probably i'm probably gonna film when i want to film and not make myself do it um and i'm gonna also improve my demos so you can actually see the entire props and frame or most of them um and yeah i'm gonna yeah and i don't know what else i'm gonna do i might try some other things too i'm not sure i don't know we'll see but yeah i'm, I'm back until there's nothing to do again should probably be like winter or some shit i don't know but yeah for now i'm back and like it's kind of man, it's busting i guess so yeah i'll see you all next time whenever that's gonna be so uh yeah bye